Hi, this is Takuma Nakata. I'm an interaction designer based in Kyoto. Today with this VVV tutorial, we're going to learn how to make a uh, visual with Voronoi. Oh, this is the wrong one. So this kind of stuff, I have video input and then real time, it's, it's changed. The Voronoi effect is changing. And I remember I played with this one like two years ago and I remember it was really complicated. So today I'm going to share how I made this one. Okay, let's get started. Uh, uh -oh. So, okay, here is the patch. And here is the result. I'll bring back the video input as well. This one. Okay, so what it's basically doing is uh, so I invert and then uh, Yeah, so I'm using this and then put it in the count counter to get the position of each small dots. And then I'm using some stuff that I'm gonna explain later which generates this nice looking uh, Voronoi effect. Okay, so let's get started. Well, uh, with this one, I will explain which one I'm using. I'll delete this one, it's, it's quite heavy. Bye -bye. So with, for this tutorial, we need uh, two stuff. One is this one, the Voronoi with Winget Edge information made by Derelp, it's an amazing uh, Voronoi, should I say plugin? Um, I like how the shape looks like. Like I'll explain later, but uh, VVVV in default it already has uh, Voronoi uh, inside, but it doesn't look this rounded shape cell look. So I would definitely uh, suggest using this one from Derelp. Thanks for making this. And basically you'll need it, but if you want to give a video input, you also need to download the VVV PAX image. I'll put the link below if you're, you want to do that kind of stuff as well. Anyways, let's get started. So I'm going to put this back. Starting VVVV. Okay, so, uh, so you're... If you already played with uh, VVV, you might already know that they are they have this Voronoi uh, thing already inside, and you can actually quite a lot play with it. It has mountain input, but uh, and this is already pretty powerful. I mean, if you're not looking for something uh, different, then you can already use this one, and it's it's already good. The reason why I'm using this Vorno with Vinged Edge information thing is because it has this rounded kind of, creates this rounded kind of Voronoi cell rather than this one. This one already looks cool, but the Voronoi generated from using this one looked better. So that's the reason why I'm using it. And once you download this one, you should see a file like this. And you don't have to put this in the packs folder or so I'm just putting into a random folder. So value Voronoi complex. And in here, just open up uh, this Voronoi complex 2D Voronoi help, which has everything inside. So I'm gonna delete this one, delete this one. And so this is what should what you should see. And uh yeah, so today we're gonna imitate this one. So what I would basically do, I mean, if you're interested in the details, just read it. I read it once, once. I'm not gonna read it anymore, I mean, for today. But what I basically wanna do is this one. So what I would do here is I'll copy paste here, this one, put it here. And then I'll copy paste this one also, and put it here. And I'll just plug this. I don't need to send and receive because I'm going to do everything in local. So this is the result. Uh, but unfortunately, this one is made with EX9. So I'll convert everything to DX11. So I'll use this constant. Polygon is also red. So I need to use polygon from DX11. And this fill thing doesn't work with 
the X11, so I'll delete this one and I'll change this group thing to the X11 as well and then I'll delete the render and then I'll create another one with the X11 okay so with this you should already get a result with the X11 and uh, I'm getting red node here because the line is also from EX9 and I'm missing some information so I'll just copy this one and put it back here and I'll connect this Lilo de relaxation here. Is it working? Yeah. And then I'll create a DX11 line. If you've already installed DX11, you should see this one. And then I'll plug and play this one. Google purchases. Do I see anything? Of course not. Why not? Because line has two different modes, and I have to enable the single input thing. Okay, now I see a black line. It's a bit uh, thin, so I'll make it wider. I also like it white, so I'll put it back. Okay, so already we got this really nice Voronoi visual, which is already the goal for today's tutorial. So if you were just interested in Voronoi, skip the rest of the tutorial, but if you're interested in generating a real-time video input Voronoi thing, then I'll start that from now on. Okay, so yeah, it's good enough. Oh, what else did I do here? Yeah, so this is the basic uh, for the Voronoi, and if you want to do a video input, uh, put this VVVPAX image in your PAX folder, and this one sometimes works, sometimes I see a lot of uh, troubleshooting as well so it might not work for some of you but I mean if it doesn't work sorry but if it did just follow, keep following this tutorial uh, so what I did for um, so first of all make a video in because I want to have a camera input and I have the camera I just set this one and then enable it So now I'll put it, I'll make a preview because I want to monitorize what kind of result I'm getting. So this is from my webcam mounted up top of the screen. I hit the light, so I'm going to turn it down. Okay. And uh, I'll use threshold. Connect it here. And then right there. And let's see what's happening here. Uh, I think the desert has too, the resolution is too high. So I'll use the, I'm not the bank. Uh, press, no. Okay. So use default size and then I'll lower down this resolution to 100, 200. And then I'll lower down the threshold so that I see this dot. And the reason why I'm doing this, you'll see it in, in the following. And then I'll use this as image from uh, the image pack. And the reason I'm using this and converting this from texture to an image, which then I can read it inside CV image, is because I want to use this counter thing. What this guy does is detects this point that it's white and it exports position of those values position of those white dots yes as a number which then I can put it inside this points XY for the cells of Voronoi and one thing that I should be careful with is I mean this Voronoi thing is quite heavy I think it's running all in GP CPU so if you, you have to be careful with the amount of spread you have here at the moment it's around 180 so it shouldn't be that bad so uh, what I'll do is I'll do vector for this split because it's coming with XYZW so I don't need that much and then I'll do F vector 2D join so now I'll put this lower it's too high okay so the now 
I can connect this to here and I can check what happens, but I'm not going to connect this. I mean, once you get connected, it works. Maybe for some of you, it might work, but for me, it doesn't work. Always when I connect this and this, it crashes. So I'm not going to do that. Instead of that, I don't know the reason why this is this works, but I'm going to have this multiply. Then I guess this should work. Okay. So now I got this result. It's getting the camera feed. Lower down the random thread. Eh. Okay, it's working. Glad. Ooh. Uh, higher. Is the trash out? Ah, shit. Yeah. Okay, so now um, I see some Voronoi real time effect, which doesn't look bad. Uh, okay. Oh, well. okay, so if you start playing with this, there's a lot you can do. Uh, but next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a uh, color for this guy because I want to use the color from the video in. Gonna higher up the uh, saturation. Well, it's too dark, so it doesn't really work. Okay. Um, then what I'm gonna do, I'm, um, I'm gonna use this thing called pipette, which does it, uh, if you give the position of pixel, it outputs the color of the each position. So I'll get the center x, y from the cell vertices and I'll put it here. Okay, so now I got uh, exact amount of color for the cell, so I'm gonna connect that one to here. Okay, looks like it's working. Maybe it's not. Well, I'm not sure with the color. I think I did something different. Oh yeah. Um, now I'm going to divide it by two. I don't know why I had to do this. Count has to be color. Get slice, get slice, and then count this guy. It's like uh, size, okay. So now it should be half. Then I put here. And now it works. I don't know why <laughs> I had to uh, decrease the size of this. I don't know why I had to do this, but I guess there was a reason I forgot. I mean, if you start calculating what, what you're doing, you should you should understand. And I guess most of the people who's watching this tutorial are smarter than me, so you should you should figure it out. Okay, so this was uh, for today, and yeah, hope it worked for everyone. If it didn't, uh, let me know on the comment. I might be able to help you. But and yeah. So download this one and just copy and paste some nodes. And if you want to add colors and video input, use this VVVD tax image. This one is from a lot of people, smart people. Uh, Sebel, yeah, he's the one who released it. Yeah, download this one, put it in a pack folder and uh, you should get the same result like this one. Okay, so that was it for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time.